Unfortunately, a lot of persons are going to search the ends of the earth, looking for that one special thing that will make their life feel complete. Sadly, they may never get to find that which they are looking for. Not because they are not searching right, not because they are not making much effort in order to figure that out, but because their expectations is actually built on an imagination that to an extent has clouded their eyes from seeing the reality of what they are looking for, presenting itself right before their eyes all this while, but not in the form they have always expected it to be. Most of the things you are searching for in life do not present themselves in the form you are expecting them to be. They don't come in an already made form. You have a role to play in achieving your dreams. See that big dreams of yours, that goal, that particular thing you're looking for so dear in life that you prayed and prayed and prayed for. Most times, it's never going to come the way you expect it to be. It might be standing right in front of you, but because it's not wearing the form you've anticipated or you've imagined it to be, you always see it and you wave it off. But that is the reality of life. Morals of this whole story. Everyone has a role to play. That dream of yours, that home of yours, that goal of yours, that woman of your dreams, that man of your dream. You have a role to play in actualizing them in the realities of life. You have a valid role to play. If they present themselves in the way you are expecting them to be, few things are going to happen when you finally have them. First of all, you are never going to value them because you didn't go through the process to achieve them. Whatever you work for diligently, so dearly, you learn to cherish and to treasure them the most. But things that come to you for free are often taken for granted. That is why gold in its raw nature, you can walk past it a thousand times unless you are very familiar with it. You will never know that that is actually good till it has been processed, refined before you see its true beauty. There is beauty in everything you see. That thing you so desire in life, that home you're looking for, you're praying and wishing for. Most of you go to watch dramas, you watch a lot of couples, you be like, oh God, when I wish, those wishes will never come true if you don't play your part. And most of us are too careful to make mistakes. That is the biggest problem we have. No, because it happens to the other person. You want to avoid the stages of mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, how do you learn? Yes, it's okay to learn from other people's mistakes, but there's a part that you need to learn, which is called experience. You have to experience those things in order for them to become part of you. And in order for you to be able to flow perfectly when it's time for you to run the race, Stop being scared of taking risks in life. Stop being scared of making mistakes. If it is necessary, make the mistakes, learn from them, and then build yourself. That home, that dream that you're looking for. You can't get a job in an oil company by just sitting in your house. You have to first back your degrees in schools. And after you've done that, you have to submit application. Your CV have to fly. You must need strong connections in order to get you where you want to go. That is how it works in the realities of life. We all have a role to play. Learn to take responsibilities in order to achieve the result of your desired dreams and imaginations. Bring them to your reality by playing your part, doing what you have to do. Learn to fix people. Don't always sit around and wait for people who are already fixed so you can just have them to yourself. You're never going to value them. It's never going to last, no matter how much you try to work on it. Because the process matters a lot. You don't have to avoid the process. The process makes the destination worth it. Learn to take responsibilities for what you want. No one is ever going to give you what you want, not even your parents. Because there's a limit to what they can actually do for you. Nobody on earth is ever going to treat you the way you want. Learn to treat yourself right by bringing your imaginations your dreams to reality by working for it stop wishing stop admiring and stop envying
learn to build your own dreams. And the beauty in building your own dreams is that you have the opportunity to write your stories the way you want them to be presented, already made. By the time you start adjusting, you realize that a lot of thoughts are going to be in there. And the energy you spend in amending, invest those energy in writing and preparing yourself a better life. What they said is enough for the wise.